What's up guys, Kent here with Coresby Gaming. This video is going to be an account takeover for the giveaway that I did. In this video, I'm gonna go over the champions and gear that we're working with, and then I'll go over some of the areas that we can make some improvements and just help this account progress. Before we get into that though, I just wanna thank everybody that entered the giveaway and let you guys know that I appreciate all the support that you've been giving me. Alrighty, with that said, let's get into this account. Alright, so here's this person's account. Let's go ahead and see how many days along they are. Alright, so they are 40 days in. Let's go ahead and check and see who they got as far as champions go. So right off the bat, they got their Kale 6 starred, which is good. Um, definitely the, the most versatile starter champion a lot of people six star him right off the bat so that's definitely a good idea he can be viable pretty late into the game um, and then they have a war maiden a grush the mangler that's a pretty good champion definitely a good one for this account to have and help them progress a lua who can definitely deal out a lot of bit of damage a uh, high katoon looks like they have him geared for some speed gear which is good and the other champion that stands out to me is the skull crusher who um, hasn't been built out so we'll go ahead and build them out for this person and get them working just because skull crusher is an amazing champion really good in a lot of different areas of the game especially clan boss and then a few of the dungeons so they'll definitely want to be using uh, that champion so they definitely have some good options here and uh, some good areas that uh, we can improve this account and help them out all right, so we got Skull Crusher geared out. We're gonna have him in uh, defense gauntlet, defense chest piece, and speed boots. This is gonna make him most viable for the clan boss. And he's only four starred right now, so we're gonna go ahead and jump over and uh, rank this guy up, just because there's a uh, couple champions that really don't have a whole lot of use that we have four starred here so all right so we got skull crusher leveled up some that'll make him a lot more viable so one of the areas that this person um, is at in the missions is reaching silver one which for a lot of people is really difficult but i'm going to work on their arena team a little bit and try to help them out in this area first all right so we'll just test out their arena team on team that's pretty comparable as far as the stats go see what happens here all right so we got our speed booster and war maiden is going to come in and drop that defense kale's going to come in and do a nuke and then we got the hail of arrows hmm. Definitely lacking a bit of punch, but we'll see if we can work on that. The speeds were good though, so. All right, so to help out the arena team, Lua is the main person that uh, is gonna help this team improve significantly. So I re-geared her in the uh, Swift Parry gear. So she was at about 100% crit rate, but her crit damage was pretty low. So she wasn't hitting nearly as hard as what she could be. Um, obviously she's only four stars, so she's not gonna be dealing crazy damage yet. But this gear puts her in a position once she is ranked up, she's gonna be hitting really hard. So we got her in uh, crit damage gloves and HP chest piece, but it does have a double roll on the crit rate. That can be replaced by attack gear at some point. Um, and then speed boots, which is good. Those can be upgraded too. Um, this is a really good piece of gear for this account. Um, double crit rate roll. And then there's uh, the headpiece, and then a double crit rate roll on the shield as well. So the crit rate is not bad. If you look at it here, it's 75%. That's close enough to be able to get the job done. 132 for the crit damage. Um, as this account progresses, those numbers can be pushed a little bit higher, and this champion will just be that much more effective. 
Another champion that I re-geared was Grush the Mangler. So this is an exceptional champion as well. This guy does a lot of good things. Um, but the one thing that is really important on his skills is you got to have enough accuracy for them to land. So the leech and the uh, decrease attack, decrease crit damage, you need the accuracy high enough for those to land. Um, so this guy is definitely going to be used against the clan boss, which... The higher you go in the clan boss, the higher the accuracy you need is. So for the highest difficulty, Ultra Nightmare, you need 250. And then for Nightmare, 200. Um, for Brutal, it's only 150. And then lower, at 50 every difficulty. So for this person, I, I bumped up their accuracy uh, to 148, which isn't amazing. But it once again, that puts this person in position to be able to progress like once they upgrade uh, the chest piece further that'll get them some more accuracy um, and HP boots or speed boots HP gloves um, and then some accuracy pieces on this guy will make him a lot more effective than with zero accuracy um, which is where he was at and kind of missing out on how good this champion can be another champion that I like to see here is Armager so this is probably well, not even probably. This is the best uncommon in the game. There are certain scenarios where he is 100% endgame viable against specific bosses if you build him out correctly. I use him on my account against uh, the Scarab King and a few other bosses similar to that. So this person definitely wants to continue leveling this guy up. He's not super impactful until you can get a gear that complements him and you have to basically have 100% crit rate and pretty darn good speed um, that's going to be difficult for this person in the gear they have right now um, th that kind of equipment and gear is better spent on other champions like they are using um, but later on this is definitely a champion that this person is going to want to use Another thing that I will do for this account is clean out some of this gear. So there's a lot of pieces of gear that this person is holding on to, and there's a thousand spots. So it's not really necessary to clean out a ton of the gear, but at the same time, some of this gear is just completely useless for this account and will be better off as silver so i'm going to go through and clean some of it out i'm going to sort by flat hp flat attack and flat defense for gloves chest pieces and boots these pieces of gear are essentially useless just because the gloves chest piece and boots you want percentage gear on it whether that's uh, crit rate percent or HP percent or defense percent or attack percent um, the only exception on these is speed um, so yeah go ahead and get rid of a bunch of this stuff all right and then for the dungeon challenges this person still has clear stage 8 of the fire knights castle so I'm gonna run this real quick and just see if I can knock it out for him all right so this is stage 8 of the fire knight if we can complete this we can get another void shard for this person so that'd be a nice little bonus Bam. And there we go. Finished up stage eight. Go ahead and claim some of these rewards for them. Alright, so I also uh, re geared this kale a little bit. Didn't do a too, too many changes, but uh, I swapped out this chest piece. He's got to have accuracy for his poisons to be used, especially if he's being used against the clan boss. Um, so that's the only real main change I made against or made for him. He was geared really well to begin with. Um, same thing with War Maiden. This is a really well geared champion as um, she has accuracy and crit rate and speed. So I'm not going to mess with that champion at all. 
So another thing I want to take a quick look at is their Great Hall and see how this is progressing. So it does look like they are building this out uh, properly. You definitely want to get that accuracy filled up first um, just because that is one of the most impactful stats early on in the game. Um, so the more accuracy you have, the better off your uh, abilities are at landing. And then the Great Hall affects every single area of the game. So whether it's attack or crit damage or accuracy, it's affecting how you perform in the arena, how you perform in the clan boss, how you're performing in dungeons. It's across the board. Um, so this is definitely something that you always want to invest in early on and build it up as fast as possible. All right, so this person uh, looks like they're on the normal clan boss right now, and they're doing about uh, three million per a key. Um, this is definitely going to bump up a lot now that we got Skull Crusher in the mix and Grush and Kale geared properly. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how, how much we can improve here. Alright, so the areas of the game that I would recommend this person working on, one, the arena, just so they can get through these missions and continue to progress through them, just because a lot of the best rewards in the game are from these missions, um, like Arbiter at the end, some sacred shards, books, those kind of things are in there, and definitely worth doing, but if you don't do the arena, you're not going to be able to progress through that. The other area that I would rec them, recommend them working on is the clan boss. I definitely think that the re-gearing of their champions is going to really help them out in this area. Um, the clan boss is really important just because it's the easiest source of good rewards in the game. Um, you can get sacred shards and void shards and legendary tomes um, from the ultra nightmare clan boss. So getting to that point in the game is the easiest way to get the best rewards. So building up to that point is definitely important. I think the champions this person has definitely puts them in range to be able to do that in the near future. They just have to work on leveling these champions up, getting their masteries held out, getting the better gear. Um, but the champions that they have, this person has gotten really fortunate in the guys that they've pulled. Because... Um, Skull Crusher, Grush the Mangler, those kind of champions are end game viable and really good. And then as far as how to actually achieve those goals that I'm recommending, um, the first order of business I would say is getting Skull Crusher ascended and six starred. Then I would do Grush the Mangler, gearing him up a little bit better and ascending him and six starring him. After that, Hopefully they'll start to uh, gain some more champions to help fill out this roster a little bit more. Um, Lua would be the next person that I'd start investing in. She's an excellent champion, has some really good uh, abilities and potential, um, especially in the arena. This is going to be their arena nuker once they can six star this champion. Um, a lot of the gear that they that this person has them in is really darn good, like the gloves and the weapon and the shield. Um, outside of that, uh, this, this character is pretty set. Alrighty guys, so that is going to wrap up this video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully some of the stuff that I had mentioned and covered is beneficial for you. If it was, go ahead and leave a comment, and if I get enough comments, I'll probably do another giveaway like this. Thanks again for watching. Hope you have a good one. I'll catch you next time.